over one doing today. Up over one side of the fence. That's the day today. And outside, it's all good. Talk to you guys. Figured I should do this live. So it's much easier to upload to YouTube after I'm done. And then it's live on Twitch. So, if y'all have any questions or concerns that uh, what I'm going to be talking about, y'all can ask in the chat. So, see we got one member here. Walk over here and we'll start talking. All right, guys. I'm pretty sure y'all can tell by the stream title already what we're going to be talking about. So we're going to be but talking. So Twitch doesn't know, but YouTube knows. Um, the last stream I did on Twitch and YouTube was um, I was pretty far. What is LSPDFR? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure most of you already know. It's a police mod that, well, yeah, it's a police mod that you can put into um, GT5. It takes a lot of time to, oh, uh, it takes a lot of time to get going to get it started and everything. Um, it takes hours just to mod, just to get everything going, mod it, and everything set and ready. LSPDFR stands for Los Santos Police Department First Response. And realistically, it's what that does is it mods your GT5 game into a police mod. Now you need additional mods to go with that for it to be more funner, for it to be more realistic. If you want to play realistic to stop the pad, you need that mod. There's alternate backup. That mod for like additional units to come back you up on a scene or even a traffic stop. You got K9 that menus with alternate backup. And so many plugins and mods. You got um, ELS cars that you can put in. Non ELS. What is EL? I don't know. Let these cars pass. Ruin my, my stream, dude. Okay, um, what does ELS even mean? For those that does not know, ELS stands for Emergency Lighting System. Um, that's what real life police cars have. Um, it's basically from its, it's, it's counting. It's basically stages of lighting system where you can activate different parts of your police car. Where if you want the Pacific, how do I explain this? Like Pacific part of your car, of your lighting on, like say you just want the front of the car of its lights on but you don't want the back on well stage one will do that you got stage one stage two and stage three stage three is full on light lighting everywhere depending on how the car is set up is or is how it's lit up well and non els means it doesn't have a stage one, stage two, and stage three lighting system. It's just full on. When you activate the lights, it's full on lights everywhere. 
So hopefully that makes sense. Um, so uh, right now, I've been working on uh, getting this. Uh, most of you know that if you follow me on YouTube, it's YouTube dot uh, Zach Martin to uh, Zach, no it's Zach Gamer two eight four on my YouTube channel. But most of you that uh, subscribed on me on YouTube notice that I've not uploaded a YouTube video or even done anything on my YouTube channel here lately. I've been busy with the LSPD far much trying to get everything working and my internet's been frustrating because it's complicated with it because it doesn't want to work. It does want to work and when it does work it slows down and goes and slows down and go and go and go. It's frustrating and then I have to uninstall GT5 and install GT5 and with the internet it doesn't help it because it doesn't even want to download most of the time. And so that's been a headache. So after I get GT5 downloaded and all the mods installed this one little mod can be out of date and it messes everything up. And then I have to uninstall all the mods, even GT5, and reinstall everything back. And then I've been uninstalling, deleting everything, we're doing everything just because I've got to have it that Pacific way. Well, this time, that's not going to be the case. If it's not that Pacific way, oh well. Live with it, you know. Um, just live with it. Basically, I wanted to have another co uh, clean copy of GTA 5 for like online or in case of anything goes wrong. Well, that's not always the case that you can have a second backup. Well, this time I can have a second backup. But I haven't did it this way yet. Hopefully, this all these things I'm not explaining is making sense. But um, basically, you have to copy all the files, copy your plain file copy of GTA 5 to your main directly. Is what they call it. So if you mess up on anything, you don't have to delete the whole damn GTA 5 folder just to fix everything because if you delete the whole GTA 5 folder you have to reinstall re-download GTA 5 which takes forever because if you know GTA 5 it's like 104 gig of a game and that takes like two or three and a half hours just to download on a fast speed internet and mine's been a pain in the ass since it's been lately it takes all day just to download, and, and, and <clears throat> some days I just it starts to download at night and wake up in the morning. It's still ain't finished. It's like eight or eight or nine o'clock in the morning, and that's what I did last night. And it still ain't finished. It's like at seventy-seven gigs. It's still got like twenty or thirty gigs to go. It's still having problems with it trying to download right now. Um, I don't know if it's downloading now. Um, it's I don't know, guys. It's been my internet is super been aggravating here lately. Been trying to find a, a fix around it, but super aggravating. And then the another problem I had with LSPDFR is this pop up kept popping up, popping up, popping up here. I found a fix for the other day. I was watching. I was done with LSPDFR, so I was watching this. How you install LCPDFR that's for GTA 4 instead of in GTA 5 it's called the mon the police mod is called um LC LSPDFR. Well in GTA 4 the police mod is called LCPDFR. So I was just trying to learn how do you download and install those. So while I'm doing that one, this dude mentioned that he had two download links or two links in his 
YouTube description that you can download to fix the problem where this pop-up will pop up and say Aero 2008 um, Microsoft Aero um, which which was exactly what was going on with my LSPDFR because it wouldn't launch because if you have installed LSPDFR before you know you can't launch a GTA 5 from your Steam if you have it on Steam and you can't launch it from your Epic Games if you have it on Epic Games you have to launch it for for this plugin that's called Rage Plugin Hook that's how you launch LSPDFR same thing with GT4 you can't launch LCPDFR with the regular um Steam or the Epic Games, if you have it on, on Epic Games, you have to launch it from, well, I think on uh, LCPD Far for GT4, it's called uh, Launch GT4 Play or something like that. It's a launch arrow thing. It's a little program that comes with LSC, LCPD Far and L LSPD Far. And it comes with the police mods. So anyway, that's been super frustrating. So anyway, watching his video, I um I clicked on him. I installed him. I installed GT5 back yesterday. Got all the mods up and running. Launched it and it worked. So I fixed the pop-up menu. And then I had everything working yesterday. Was going to do a video after I got everything done. The only thing I had to do was to install my 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 pack cars mods, my my police cars mods in. I I did that. And I was working and everything. Hopefully, I think it was. Um, and the only thing I had left to do was to install. Some plugin mods for callouts, um, which I did that, but I didn't pay attention to the date of the plugin apparently, because when I went to install that into my folder, it corrupted my files because the de the plugin or the mod that I was installing into the GTA 5 folder into the main directory. That mod, that Pacific mod I was putting in was out of date. And if it's out of date, then it and it doesn't match up with the updated mods that's into the game, then it can corrupt your files and you have to uninstall everything and reinstall everything back. So, I was so pissed. I think I started around 9, 10, 11 o'clock yesterday and got finished at 6 o'clock and finally realized I corrupted my game. I realized I, after I put that mod folder, it corrupted my game. So I was trying to see if I didn't have to do all of that again. I could just find a workaround and just fix it. I even searched up a lot of stuff on YouTube. Didn't find anything. Sooner I found out, you have to do it the old-fashioned way, which means delete everything and reinstall everything. Which is a pain in the butt, dude. It, it, I swear, guys, it takes so much time doing all of that. So, I'm not, it's like 10 or 11 o'clock right now, and I'm not even through downloading everything. I'm not even started on the LSPDFR mods into GT5 yet. So, I still got a lot to do. Huh. I mean, a lot to do. I still got to, it's basically after you get the plugins installed which takes most of the time you're basically almost there uh, because the plugins is the ones that make it's 
not installing them into the game. That's not what takes most of the time. It's what takes most of the time. Well, also depending on your internet speed, if it wants to be a pain in the butt, that, that give me a headache too. But it's what takes most of the time is going into those folders and customizing them the way that you need them or want them. So, and that takes most of the time too. So, of me, I fully don't have an understanding of how to do this by myself too. So, that takes a lot of time. So, I have to watch this YouTube tutorial of how to do it. Which, he explains it well. But, it takes time watching that and doing it for yourself. So, each part takes like two or three minutes just to understand it and do it. So, um, fortunately, <laughs> it is what it is. But takes a lot of time on this game. After you get everything up and running and going the way that you want it to go, it's fun. It's a fun mod, but it can be a pain in the ass sometimes just to get up and running. But once it's up and running, I ain't played that thing all damn day. I think, I think when I first started playing LSPDFR, I had like 80, 80 hours into until my whole GT5 game. Now I looked at I look at it. I've got 138 hours into it, just for playing LSPDFR. That's like an a, additional 80, 90 hours into GT5 just because of LSPDFR. LSPDFR is fun. The only thing that's not fun about it is crashing. <laughs> And I was getting these hard crashes when I installed that wrong mod that was out of fucking date. And I thought it was an up to date the mod because it looked like it, but I didn't look at the date because the mod was off of, um, it was off of a, like real, like traffic accidents and stuff like that. So traffic accidents, it was, um, home burglaries, uh, well, I don't know about hamburgers, but it was uh, noise complaints, stuff like that. It had a whole pack mod in it, and that thing looked so fun. I wanted to play it, but unfortunately, I find a new one that's going to be more funner. <laughs> promise you that. But I promise you this time, over plugging and over mod I installed to my game this time, I'm looking at that date and making sure I'm not corrupting anything before I drag that mod into my files. So I don't corrupt anything this time. So basically that's all. trying to end my sorry about that guys i was trying to end the stream and then it just cuts so let me try to end my stream before it cuts again so uh anyway um like subscribe comment share this video out if you are on youtube um if you're not and you are watching this live on twitch or you're watching this after the fact on youtube um uh, same thing um, well, you can't share, or well, you can share, share the stream out. 
Um, you can't like on Twitch, uh, which is super unfortunate, but it is what it is. You know, stuff happens. Um, but basically, thank you guys for watching this, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, and if you are on Twitch and want to subscribe on, uh, subscribe to my channel on YouTube, um, please do so. It's uh, ZagGamer284 at YouTube.com on the YouTube app or the YouTube website. Just type in on the search in the search bar ZagGamer284 and it should pop it up. I have a little photo pops up. It's the same photo that's on my Twitch photo, so it's not hard to miss. Alright guys, peace out.